First, the potential blockbuster new evidence in a disappearance case that has remained unsolved for more than 18 years. Natalie Holloway went missing during a class trip to Aruba in 2005. Her body has never been found. Now, digital news outlet The Messenger reports it has obtained never-before-seen emails written by Van Der Sloot in 2010. Van Der Sloot was the last person seen with Holloway and the prime suspect in the case. He is currently facing charges he tried to extort Holloway's family by offering information about what happened to her in exchange for money. He has never been charged in the 18-year-old's presumed murder. The report claims Van Der Sloot wrote to a friend five years after Natalie went missing, saying, my dad got a boat two days later. We went for a ride and took care of things. That's all I'm going to say, end quote. Van Der Sloot has told several different stories about where Natalie's body is, but so far none have been proven true. But could this be the proof authorities have finally been looking for? Joining us now is Steve Helling, senior crime reporter at The Messenger, who obtained the exclusive email. Steve, first off, how do we know it's even legitimate? Well, what we do know is it comes from the same email address that um, has been authenticated as being Joran van der Sloot's uh, email address from the from the 2009-2010 era. He used an email address under the name of J.P. Sanders, and that was the one that he used to contact um, uh, the family of Natalie Holloway in this alleged extortion uh, scheme. There's no question that that email address is the one that he was using to set up the, the meetings and, and that type of thing. Um, so we can authenticate it as being from him. We know he has told several varying different stories, none of which have so far been verified as accurate. What makes you think that perhaps this one might be true, especially because his father is now dead? We have no way of authenticating this. Right. You know, that's, again, part of the problem. You know, he can say whatever he wants to say, and we can't prove it to be whether whether it's true or not true. But what we can say is that's another one of those stories that he's telling. And the reason why that's so important to prosecutors in this extortion case is that part of the crux of their case against him was that he got money from Natalie's family for um, pointing out where her body was. And of course, her body wasn't where he said it would be. And so they have to prove that he knew he was lying. And if he's telling different stories to different people around the same time, the same time frame, well, it seems more likely than not that he is lying. We do know that it's odd. This latest email that you have discovered and that you are revealing for the first time is an amalgam of two different stories he's told before. One was that he and a friend took Natalie's body out on a boat and got rid of it in the ocean. And a second mm -hmm. story that he and his father went to a construction site and that her body was buried inside this construction site. This is a bit of a mix. It makes you wonder if maybe this one might be true. But if so, it leaves very little possibility that Natalie's body will, in fact, be found. Well, of course, yes. I mean, you know, his stories always have little elements from one story to the next that kind of track, and then he goes off in a different direction. So now this time it's him and his dad who got into a boat. You know, who knows? What we can say is, unfortunately, his father, by the time he wrote that email, his father was dead. Uh, you know, we do know that if he dumped, you know, unfortunately, her body in the ocean in 2005, you know, there's no likelihood that we would ever be able to recover her. Right. Um, so, you know, it's a pretty safe story for him to tell, really, because you can't, you can't track it. down the body. You can't verify it and you can't prove it's not true. Very quickly, Steve, did you see any other emails from him that were interesting? Yes. I mean, you know, we've gotten a hold of almost all the emails from that same email account, including the ones that, you know, he sent to Natalie Holloway's family lawyer. And, you know, it's interesting. He tells different stories even to the same people. To her, to her lawyer, he says, oh, you know, we fooled around on the beach and she hit her head. Another time he says, well, she had a seizure. You, you just can't tell. With a pathological liar, are they all lies or is one of those the truth? And it's hard to tell. Oh, Steve Helling.
You just wish for that family's sake that they could get some sort of clarity on what on earth happened to their daughter. All right, thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.